Okay, Native and McLean is back on Earth tonight following a 204-day mission on board the International Space Station. The Gonzaga Prep graduate touched down in a Kazakhstan desert just a few hours ago. The re-entry was watched by people all over the world and many here in Spokane, including a close friend of McLean's who's been emailing the astronaut throughout her mission. She spoke exclusively with Nightside reporter Kyle Sinchuk. And liftoff. It's been a ride. 30 seconds in, everything's still looking good. Spokane native Anne McLean has spent the last six months 250 miles above the Earth, traveling more than 17,000 miles per hour. Tonight, that ride came to an abrupt stop when the capsule carrying her and two other astronauts touched down in a Kazakhstan desert. Her journey was followed by many people in Spokane, including one woman on North Wall Street. She's just had the time of her life. Bo Ying Clark isn't just a fan. She's known since she was like three, four, or five. She told her mom she was going to go to the stars. The two are close friends. Right after high school, she got on our women's, all women's baseball team, and we played ball together. And it's just so outgoing and loving and just humble. Even in space, they've kept in touch. We email probably once or twice a week, even while she's up there. So what's it like getting an email from space? I, you know, I didn't even know that she could do it, but she said, you know, we're the ones closest to the satellite, so we can send it quicker than you guys can. <laughs> Clark watched anxiously as her friend undocked from the space station and fell to the earth, an experience she can't even begin to imagine. Would I go? No. No, I would not want to come back through. <laughs> no way. Clark says McLean's mom traveled to Houston for her return. She misses her mom and her son. She says McLean has plans to visit Spokane this August. Welcome home, buddy. It's going to be amazing to see you. In Spokane, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY, Four Nightside.